Guys, we'll do a 10.30 Sunday embargo and any questions in Spanish, we'll just do before that. Thank you. Hi, Pep. Can you explain that? We lost two, three. We made uh, a good game in general, especially of course the first half. And uh, but these boxes in that level, in that competitions against that rivals. So when you have the chances, you have to score two. It's possible three. It's possible the other one. And after, of course, always you have bad moments. And the bad moments, the last two games, every time they arrive, they score a goal. So they shoot four times in target, three goals. So when this happens, it's so complicated to win the games. Then we create enough to, to score more. So congratulations to United. So now going to try if you are brave enough and you know to stand up again and, and focus on Tuesday. Pep, there seem to be two very clear penalties, at least one very clear one in the second half when, when Young fouled Aguero, but maybe also the handball in the first half. Uh, what were your thoughts? They told me that I didn't see it. And they told me the people inside, but I didn't see it. So just when I can focus is uh, not the, the job of, uh, what's the name, the referee? M Sir Mark Martin Ar Atkin Arkinson. Atkinson. I, so I cannot judge it's sad to try to improve my team to when you are there you have a chance to score a goal, try to do it and defend defend our box. Sam. Pep, given what you said about Pogba on Friday, which has caused quite a stir, I saw you go to him at the final whistle. Um, can you let us know what you said? Congratulating him for the result. And you didn't mention anything about what you said on Friday? No. Can I just ask, well, I mean, th there has been criticism of your defence today. Um, do well, you, wh listen, what did you think? Uh, I, I know, I understand. So we're a team like we are the the, the team whom less con goals concede and the statistics less chances created for the opponents during the season. Of course, when you arrive in that level in the important games, you have to be solid. And Namfield, two times they arrive, they score, especially in the first 27 minutes, score two goals. The problem in Anfield is we didn't create chances to, you know, to punish them. But they didn't do too much. 27 minutes, the 27, 45, they were much, much better. But the second half even didn't have. And today they didn't shoot one shoot and target United in the first half. And the second half they arrived one or two and they scored a goal. This is tough for, for the, sometimes a man to be a young team and a team to create, sometimes not to defend. And uh, But after that, we overcome the situations, we create chances, the decisions, and uh, the last actions. Good save for for the Gea and the last action and uh, you cannot imagine it's unbelievable how we didn't score the goal. So I think I have the feeling we did it. We did absolutely everything. We create when you realize you know calm with the game was good. So, but in that level, in that level when when you are in the first half, you have these chances that your momentum you have to be clinical and you have to score goals, more goals to finish in the game. Of course, we are sad. For our for ourselves for our fans uh, to win, but we have uh, still you know 84 points, 30 points loss difference, and uh, we have to win two more games. And uh, after the game on Tuesday, we are going to focus on the Premier League to to try as quick as possible to get it. Pep, does it matter losing today? You're going to win the league anyway, but it's such a big game for the fans for the city so so where do you feel as manager as a team does it really matter oh, of course we want to win today I'm not going to deny that but we know exactly which team we play is the second in the league he make a good a good uh, a good league but I am here to try to analyze you know the feelings I'm sorry for the for the fans but I think they do cannot have complaints about what we have done so when you realize the game was good, so I cannot expect 90 minutes and the opponent is going to do absolutely anything. My dream is happening in the first half when they didn't concede one shot on target, happening in the second half, but they are proud, they have, you know, a good manager and maybe in the first half, then the half time said, oh guys, we have to do something more, something like that. But 
we run, we fought, and we we do every, we did everything. So when in one month or two months, one or two years, we see the game. So wow, how could lose that game? But we lost it. So for the fans, it's okay. It's it's, it's it's hard, but maybe we are going to give more credit when you are going to be able to win the Premier League. If you are able to win the Premier League, to say, okay, how tough it is. You know, when the people since November, December, people say the the Premier League is done, the Premier League is done, the Premier League is done, and it was a a tough, tough fight to keep going every single, single weekend to be focused because it's not done. And of course now it's not done. So the people say you're going to win. Wait. Football, everything can happen. It's the first time we lose in different competitions but two games in a row. And uh, it's the first time in the season would happen. And now you have to, to, to recover, try again, come back to the basics and, and win games. We're going to try next Tuesday and, and next games. Pep, what did you tell the players after the game and how will you pick them up now ahead of the game against Liverpool? I tell them we're going to try it, guys. We have to... I was football player, I was there. And I know how, how exactly they feel. How, how no comfortable situation it is. So I understand and I put on their side and just said, guys, like all the season, I love, I like to be with them and... Nothing else. Hola, Pep. Tec, en Spanish. Sí. Bona tarda, Miquel Agut de Recuot. Volia demanar precisament una cosa semblant. Uh, veniu de Liverpool, després avui, al final del partit, el primer que has fet és aplaudir els jugadors, intentar aixecar els ànims dels, dels jugadors. Hem vist la realització televisiva que hi havia també aficionats plorosos perquè avui s'esperava guanyar la Lliga i més contra la terra rival. De cara al partit de dimarts, eh, el mm. més de, 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 contra el Liverpool, eh, el més difícil que, que has de fer és tornar a revifar els jugadors, no sé si potser que creguin més encara en el, en el que fan des del punt de vista psicològic. Sí, ens hem d'aixecar. Sí, l'esport és això. L'esport és com gestiona els mals moments, els, les èpoques. Hem tingut molt poques aquest any. És la primera que aquesta és un cop dur. Ens hem d'aixecar. No, no ens queda altra. I tot el que tenim dimarts, perquè és una final, tirar-ho, donar-ho i, i veurem fins on arribem. I, i després intentarem doncs, tancar la lliga i si la perdem, doncs felicitarem la que l'hem guanyat. Quan un equip fa el que hem fet fins ara, el seu entrenador sempre, sempre, per sempre més estarà al seu costat. És aprendre d'això. Uh, jo sempre jutjo, intento jutjar les intencions dels meus jugadors, intento jutjar les intencions del que vols fer i hem fet moltes coses bones avui. La primera part ha sigut extraordinària en tots els sentits, hem necessitat, hem jugat, hem arribat, hem fet ocasions de gol contra un equip que no és fàcil fer-los. I, I bé, ens ha passat doncs, que en 10-15 minuts doncs, ens hem caigut, hem fet 3 gols i després ens ha costat més. Pep, això que deies ara, heu perdut molts pocs partits, tant aquest any com, com l'anterior també. Eh, Trobes alguna explicació per què quan us marquen gols acostuma a ser en, en periodes curts de 10 minuts, 15 minuts? El perfil de jugadors que tenim, sempre pensem en atacar, són jugadors de molt de talent, jugadors de que quan el perdem intentem tornar a agafar la pilota i tornar a jugar, eh, els contraris són bons, probablement és la forma que tenim de jugar. Uh, questions for Monday with a 10.30 in Barcelona.